Hey everyone and welcome back for another deep dive. Today we are diving into all things Microsoft Teams, Rooms, and Devices. Because let's be honest, there is always something new happening over there. It really is nonstop. Isn't it? To make sure we are bringing you the latest and greatest time, we are going to be taking a deep dive into MTDMA episode 54. A treasure trove of Teams goodness. So much good stuff that we won't be able to get to it all today, but we are going to break down the highlights and most importantly what these updates actually mean for you. No tech jargon here, we promise. Just the need to know info. Exactly. So let's just jump right in. We're going to start this deep dive with everyone's favorite Teams Rooms on Windows, or as Microsoft <laughs> likes to abbreviate it, yeah. MTRW. Catchy, right? Personally, I just remember Windows, but either way, the current app version is 5.1.28.0, and it's been a minute since the last big update back in August. This one is mostly about those small but mighty improvements, you know, like bug fixes, smoother connections to the admin center, that sort of thing. Oh, and they added support for Windows 11 23H2, which is nice for those already on the latest and greatest. Yeah, those might seem like small potatoes, but for our friends who use GCCH, that's the government cloud version of Teams, by the way, those bug fixes were a godsend. And as for the admin center connection improvements, it may not sound exciting, but smoother sailing behind the scenes keeps everyone happy. Behind the scenes, wins are still wins. But okay, ready for the cool stuff. The MTRW roadmap just dropped, and let me tell you, there are some game changers on the horizon. Now this is what I'm talking about. First up, ultrasound proximity joint, and it's coming soon. This is what I'm talking about. So picture this. You walk into a meeting room, and boom, your device automatically connects to the room system. No more messing around with cables or codes, just instant connection. Seamless. And such a productivity booster. It's all about making that hybrid work work. Right. Couldn't agree more. And speaking of making life easier... Breakout room support is finally coming to meetings. No more wonky workarounds. Soon, you'll be able to have those smaller group discussions right within your team's meeting. This is huge. Just think about the implications for training sessions, workshops, even just brainstorming with your team. This is going to make those interactions so much more dynamic and engaging. Huge win for collaboration, for sure. And there's more. Get ready for town hall presenter support, which means better control, and a much smoother experience when you are presenting to a larger audience. Plus, they're finally adding the ability to resize those video tiles in a room. No more squinting, trying to see who's who. And last but not least, SAP Guest Join is coming down the pipeline, meaning easier collaboration with folks outside your organization, even if they aren't on Teams. Wow, they really thought of everything with this update, huh? Seriously. But while we are on the topic of Teams rooms, we've got to switch gears over to the Android side of things. MTRA, as they call it. And folks, this one's important. They are retiring the legacy notification infrastructure, which sounds very technical, but what it means is... If you are using Teams on an Android device or one of those dedicated Teams phones, listen up. This change is for you, that legacy notification system. So it's how some people are still getting their chat messages on Android. To avoid any awkward silences when you should be getting buzzed, make sure you upgrade. You don't want to miss those important messages. Right, there, because after September 30th of this year, 2024, that is no more legacy notifications. Mark those calendars. Not with the old, in with the new. And speaking of new, MTRA users, you are getting some pretty cool updates too. For starters, you can now update individual apps right from the Teams Admin Center. Think of things like the Admin Agent, Company Portal, even in Tune. Ooh, okay, I see you IT admins, I hear ya. Right. It might seem minor, but when you are managing a fleet of devices, being able to push out those individual app updates without having to update the entire system each time, that is a game changer. Less downtime for everyone. Love it. What else? They've also extended the certification end date for Android 12 devices. So if you are still rocking those, you've got a little more breathing room until August 15th, 2027, to be precise. Okay, that's a decent extension. I like yeah. it when they give us a little extra time to plan these things out. But enough about the techie stuff. Let's talk aesthetics. Teams Rooms on Android is finally getting some love in the wallpaper department. Yes, you heard that right. Custom wallpapers are coming. Time to ditch those boring default backgrounds. Let your personality shine through. It's the little things, right? I completely agree. Okay, one last MTRA update before we move on. And this one's for all you Zoom users out there, no judgment. Mm -hmm. You can now join Zoom meetings using a meeting ID and passcode directly from Teams Rooms on Android. How convenient is that? I mean, talk about making life easy. All right, let's switch gears over to Teams Panels for a moment. A couple of noteworthy updates here. First up, you know those custom wallpapers we were just talking about? 
Yeah, those are rolling out to Teams panels as well. So get ready to personalize those meeting room displays. I love it. Every bit of personalization counts. But it's not all about looks, of course. They've also ironed out that pesky bug where remotely changing the release room if no one checks in, setting wasn't syncing to the device. Oh, so no more ghost meetings. Exactly. IT admins everywhere are breathing a collective sigh of relief. Speaking of IT admins, let's talk Teams displays. There's a cool new kit on the block, the Yeelink CM20 Ceiling Audio System. Ooh, that sounds intriguing. Tell me more. Just imagine crystal clear audio raining down from the ceiling during your team's meetings. This new system is designed to deliver top-notch audio quality, which, let's face it, is essential now that video conferencing is such a big part of our work lives. I'm all about that immersive audio experience. Right, but on a less exciting note, there is some news Teams displays users need to be aware of. Mark your calendars, folks, because the end of support for the Teams display app is coming September 3rd, 2025. Whoa, okay, that's something to plan for. Mm. But hey, at least they're giving us a good amount of notice. What's that saying? Forewarned is forearmed. Exactly. Take this time to plan your budget and see what other options are out there. Now, before we get to the really big stuff, Pro Portal and all its glory, they did announce a couple of new devices. For the Logitech fans out there, the Logitech Rally Bar with mic pods is now certified for Teams rooms on Windows, especially if you're running Lenovo Core systems. Always good to have more certified options. Mm -hmm. What about Yelling? Anything new on that front? Actually, yes. They just released the new MPE2 series Teams phones, which are based on the MDEP platform. Excellent. More options are always a good thing. But you know what they say. Save the best for last. I believe we did. Ready to dive into Pro Portal and Microsoft Places. You bet. This is where it gets really interesting. They've been making a lot of noise about Pro Portal, and for good reason. There's a ton of new stuff coming down the pipeline, like a setup guide, to make life easier for those of us who aren't exactly tech wizards. Oh, don't worry. We've all been there. Right. And speaking of making life easier, there's a dedicated iOS app in the works. But here's the real kicker. They are incorporating maps into Pro Portal. And not just any maps, maps with IMDF format. IMDF format sounds like something out of Star Wars. What is that exactly? Well, imagine having a GPS, but for your office. Okay, I like where this is going. IMDF is basically an open standard for indoor maps. Ah, uh, okay. It means you can have super detailed maps of your workspace right there within Teams. So no more getting lost on the way to the coffee machine. Mm -hmm. But seriously, this is huge for navigating larger offices, or even just if you are new to a building or you've got you know a flexible workspace. Exactly, and it's not just about finding your way around. Think about hot desking, where people can choose different workstations each day. Pro Portal's maps can help you locate colleagues or find those available desks. It's like having a digital office manager at your fingertips. Ah. Okay. What else is new in Pro Portal Land? They've been dropping some hints about some really cool stuff. Oh, we are just getting started. Get ready for people count data. Ooh, people count data. Imagine being able to see which areas of the office get the most traffic or which meeting rooms are used the most. Okay, that's good data. Right. That data is gold for optimizing your workspace and making sure you are using resources efficiently. It's all about working smarter, not harder. Love it. What else? They are also rolling out a super handy auto-release feature for rooms with Teams panels. Yes, finally. Right, we've all been there. Someone forgets to end the meeting and that room just sits there empty. Hmm. With this new feature, those rooms will automatically free up after a set amount of inactivity. No more wasted space. Music to every office manager's ears. But really, all of these Pro Portal updates are really quite exciting. They are really doubling down on making this the tool for managing that hybrid workplace. It's definitely the way things are heading. Now, before we wrap up our Pro Portal adventure, there is one more update that caught my eye, and it's a big one for security. They are now requiring global admin permissions to create and manage those Teams resource accounts. Okay, hold on. Break that down for me. What exactly does that mean, and why is it such a big deal? Think of it this way. Teams resource accounts are like the keys to the kingdom. They control things like meeting rooms, phone lines, even those handy chatbots. Giving only global admins the power to manage these accounts just adds an extra layer of security, making sure only authorized personnel can access those critical resources. Ah, so it's all about keeping those digital doors locked tight. Mm. Makes sense. Precisely. Better safe than sorry, especially when it comes to your organization's data. Speaking of things that can go wrong, they did mention a bit of a hiccup with ServiceNow. Apparently, 
there is a little bit of an integration issue they are still working through. Ah, yes. A good reminder that even in the world of cutting-edge technology, things don't always go according to plan. You got it. The key is to stay informed about any of those known issues or outages so you can minimize any disruptions and hopefully avoid those frantic IT calls. And on that note, I think we've covered just about everything. From those behind-the-scenes bug fixes to the exciting world of Pro Portal and those all-important security updates, we've navigated the ins and outs of the latest Microsoft Teams news. We certainly have. But remember, this is just the tip of the iceberg. If something piqued your interest today, don't hesitate to dive deeper. The MTDAMA Discord server is an amazing resource for all things Teams devices. Think of it like a direct line to the experts. It's been a pleasure exploring the ever-evolving world of Microsoft Teams with you. Until next time, stay curious and remember, knowledge is power, especially in the tech world.